we're going to start off with B1. So signs of deficiency are memory loss, depression, anxiety, irritability, and insomnia. The brain uses B1 to convert glucose, or blood sugar as we call it, into energy. Without this vitamin, the brain may not have enough energy to function normally. So food sources include the germ and bran of cereal grains, enriched flour, brewer's yeast, avocados, cauliflower and spinach, dry fruits, nuts, and legumes. But I need to point out, the nuts must be raw, unsalted. Anytime you roast a nut or you put high heat on it, you are oxidizing this nut. And when you oxidize any type of foods actually, and it goes into your body, it turns it, it scavenges for free radicals. And we do not want that. Free radicals are precursor to cancer. So try to keep your nuts raw, unsalted. And the unsalted part is for people with hypertension or high, um, hypertension, you do not want the added, uh, the added salt. A normal diet should contain 1,500 milligrams of salt. So keep in mind, one teaspoon of salt is already 1,200 milligrams. So try to keep them raw, unsalted. Okay. B6. B6 helps to convert tryptophan to serotonin and GABA and helps control nerve function as well. Signs of deficiency include headaches, dizziness, inability to concentrate, hyperactivity, nausea, depression, and weakness. Now, food sources include wheat germ, whole grains. Now, I need to stress, if you're purchasing bread that, and you're reading the package, it must say whole grains. It cannot say 100% grains. The word whole must be on the package, okay? Bananas, prunes, potatoes, cabbage, and cauliflower. And also, most people don't know, both exercise and massage therapy, they trigger the release of tryptophan into the blood. Now, exercise can be any form of movement. Getting out for a brisk walk is ideal. Try to make it a daily routine, like walking around your neighborhood or even window shopping on the streets or mall walks. So going into a mall will keep you warm and just walking around is a great form of exercise. Now, B6 works best when taken with B3, but we'll discuss that further down.